guys, it is the same day that I made my oatmeal. As you can see, I'm wearing the same clothes, but I needed to put it in my hair and get it over with because I wanted to leave it for at least two hours. I have all the ingredients here, so let's start. Hey guys, I do not have a lot of space. My kitchen is small, so I'm limited space-wise in my kitchen. So here I am all cramped up, but I'm going to try my best to show you step by step. I take half an avocado and I'm put in this container. I'll, I, then I will take one egg. I like to use an egg with this treatment and pour the whole thing, the entire thing. I don't take the yolk out. I've seen people that they like to take the yolk out and use just the, the white part. What I use, this coconut oil from Grove is really good, you guys. I like it. And I put one spoon, tablespoon, okay? Then I will use mayonnaise. Some people do not like the smell of may mayonnaise, but I don't mind it. And yes, it already has egg in it, but I, I like to use it anyways. And I will do the same thing, just one. Just one. I will take some honey, because I like the way the honey makes your hair look is shiny. Your hair looks so shiny after you use the, the honey. And I would take only one spoon. I know this is like a lot, but I like to use a lot. And then it depends on you too, you know? It's however you want to try. If you guys try, please let me know and see how you guys like it. Again, if you want to use less ingredient, more ingredient, or more honey or less honey or no honey at all it's up to you it's up to you i'm just showing you how i like to do i will take some almond oil this one i only take one teaspoon not the tablespoon a teaspoon i have that and i use uh vitamin e oil this one is almost done i like to use a capsule and use like five capsules, but I don't have any more. So I have no choice but to use this little thing that I have here. I use everything. As you can see, I like to do this treatment way too often. So some of my ingredients are almost done. Then some jojoba oil. I like this oil. It smells good. Same thing, one teaspoon. And this one is almost done. But I ordered some from Grove, and I think today I will get the shipment comes today. I'm so happy. And I use some castor oil. Same thing, just a teaspoon. Just one, leave it there. And the castor oil makes your hair grow. It helps me with my hair. My hair is growing. I bought this thing from... Marshalls and I forgot the price. It doesn't have the price tag anymore But it's Hair oil argan oil and it's really good and smells great these I use like Half or a few like five um, drops one two three four And that's it, you guys. What I do, I blend everything together. Put in my blender. Okay, now we're going to start applying the treatment on the hair. I'm going to take off my glasses. And this is messy, so if you want to use gloves, it's up to you. You can. I don't like to use gloves. I just like to do it with my bare hands. And of course, you're going to need to put something that you don't care getting it dirty, you know. But here we go. So the first thing I do, I just comb my hair all the way, make sure 
I comb my hair good and I have not dyed my hair yet because the party is gonna be next Saturday and I want to dye my hair um, maybe Tuesday or Thursday you know a little close to Saturday and you see my hair is falling off I haven't done this treatment for like a month a month and a half so it's time it's time so what I do I don't part my hair or anything like that I just take a little bit at a time um, some people like to apply from here down but I don't mind doing it all over my hair because my hair is dry if you have oily hair I do not recommend it but if you want to try go ahead like I said if you want to do it from your scalp all the way down it's up to you or if it's half like from here to, uh, all the way down it's up to you as well but I'm gonna do it all the way from the scalp all the way to the end and let me show you how it looks it's like a cream okay it's not really oily so if you were thinking that it was going to be oily um, it's not at all unless that you will incorporate like olive oil I have done that before and it does make it a little bit oily but since I'm going to leave it on for a few hours, not only one hour or two, I think I'm going to do three hours, five hours. And I don't want it to be oily coming down all the way to my clothes. As, as you can see now, I put it all over my hair, all over my head, all over my hair. Then what I like to do, I like to give it a little, a little bit of love to my scalp and to my hair. And just let the whole treatment incorporate all over, all over my hair. That's what I like to do. Give myself some love. And then I would just make a little bund if I can make a little bund and put one of these plastic cap on my hair and voila and that's it you know let, let it cover and then you can go and do whatever it is that you need to do around the house and then with your own heat from your head it's going to serve as a heat treatment unless that you want to go ahead and go on the, the dryer for I don't know five ten minutes but since I don't want to do that because I have to do all the things in the house I just let it be I just covered, I just covered my hair for a few hours and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy and hopefully I will show you the end results. 